Hey guys, let's make some beef curry stew. Stay tuned if you want to see the recipe of how I made this delicious curry stew. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to make this beef curry stew. I have some beef that I have cut in cubes and marinated and some curry seasoning and some green seasoning this is the green seasoning if you haven't seen the video for that yet i will pin it and this is a jamaican curry seasoning i put in two tablespoons of the green and four tablespoons of the jamaican curry so now what we're going to do is add some oil to our hot skillet and I'm just going to put roughly about a tablespoon of oil. And then we're going to add our beef into the skillet. I'm going to put all the beef in, on the skillet, trying to make sure all the pieces are touching the bottom. And I'm going to cook them on each side for roughly five to seven minutes. We just want to cook it until the meat is no longer really red throughout the meat. Um, and then I will come back and show you what we got. All right, now I have browned the meat and we're going to add in two cups of vegetable broth. This is some vegetable broth that I canned up and uh, probably earlier this year. I can't remember when I canned it either last year or earlier this year. So I'm just going to add this to the beef and then I'm just going to stir it up a bit to get like the the um, bits that are sticking to the bottom of the skillet you know into the mixture to create our broth for our stew so we want all that flavor in that broth so I'm just going to Kind of mix the meat around to make sure I get all that up that's sticking to the bottom of the skillet. And yes, I am making a mess, y'all, but I will clean that up. Don't worry about it. Cooking ain't always without mess. <laughs> All right, so after I get all the bits up from the bottom of the skillet, I'm just going to cover this up and I'm going to let this meat simmer in that broth. Well, that um, pretty much the gravy of the stew um, for about an hour to an hour and a half. So I will be back, guys. All right, guys, it has been an hour and a half. So now what I'm going to do is add some potatoes and carrots to this. I had some potatoes that I harvested from my garden that I just um, cut up into like, I don't know, I guess like cute pieces. So, and I had a little bit of red pepper left over from making my green sauce so i'm going to put that in there too so that is the carrots and the red peppers and those are just some grocery store carrots and then my potatoes i have purple red and some yukon gold potatoes in here and i grew all these in my garden guys so i'm going to stick that in there with it And I'm just going to get those potatoes down in that gravy so that they get nice and flavorful too as they're cooking. We want to make sure that that flavor and that seasoning gets on everything. Because that's what's going to make it taste good. And a lot of the recipes I saw, they use like four cups, I think, of water. But if I need to add more, I will. 
but I'm just going to do the two cups of vegetable broth for that's all I put in there so far and I'm going to see if that will create enough gravy for my stew and all we're going to do now is cover it back up and I'm going to let it cook at like a it's real, I'm cooking at like a low medium for another hour so I will be back guys all right guys cheat code I've already checked to make sure my potatoes were done <laughs> so it is done I have tasted the broth but I haven't really had a real good taste of it since it has been ready I tasted the broth broth a little earlier so here we go with our curry our beef curry stew y'all I've never had this before but I am so excited to try this I really am so the recipe did turn out very good I really enjoyed it so I hope you try this recipe out I think you would truly truly enjoy it so if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up share and leave a comment and I will talk to you guys again soon all right y'all talk to you later bye